you can actually have multiple meals with this uh, recipe that we're about to give you and then uh, it tastes really good. Okay, I have this sister that she could screw up a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and my wife is in here in the kitchen trying to um, attempt the impossible by teaching my sister how to cook. No one will eat what she cooks. She probably even washed her hands. I did wash my hands. She will. This, this is doing the impossible, teaching her to cook. I want to see you, Thank you cooking. Yeah, Nick, what about you? One day. I don't want to make her feel bad. I'll cook when she's gone. Not like besides grilled chicken. <laughs> That's cooking. Besides grilled No. to shoot a really quick video to show you how to make a really awesome salad um, using all these raw vegetables to give you the raw enzymes or is it raw enzymes the live enzymes live. that you need because live enzymes help you with gut health and just so many other things and so we're gonna show you how we take them in uh, well basically live enzymes they help you process and digest your food but anyway this is he likes it I like it and everybody's happy <laughs> All right, here's what all goes in. We have about a big handful of kale, good handful of baby carrots, one romaine lettuce, two green onions, and just a little sliver of the purple and the green cabbage. So we just, you know, just cut a little piece off both of them. And then here is all the stuff we use for the sauce. I'll let you read the labels yourself. The only thing that's not labeled is this right here is ground up roasted sesame seeds. And Sesame said they call it what? Tahani. And for the topping, we like to put these wonton strips, some sliced almonds, and avocado. All of this mixed together makes the most amazing, delicious salad that I think I've ever eaten. Now to make the chopping process go by a little bit faster and easier, we are using our awesome food processor. I mean, you can always chop it by hand, you know, just a knife, but food processor is a lot faster and easier. Now everything is cut for the salads. We're gonna mix it up and then she is going to make the dressing. All right, now this recipe calls for a half a cup of oil and we like a variety. So we use a quarter cup of grapeseed oil and a quarter cup of avocado oil to just give it a little more variety. But if you wanna keep it simple and not have to buy two types of oil, just buy avocado oil because that's the one the recipe mainly calls for. Okay, this is like a, it's like about two and a half inch by one inch root. That's how much I'm using. One large uh, garlic clove or two small ones. A quarter cup of grapeseed oil. We add the other half of a quarter <laughs> of avocado oil. Two tea, uh, tablespoons of soy sauce, less sodium. We're gonna add three tablespoons of organic um, what's it called? honey. We're gonna add one quarter cup of white uh, rice vinegar. I'm sorry. We also have this is very important. It's sesame oil, but it's very strong, so you have to be careful. We're gonna add just half a teaspoon. This one. And last but not least, I call this tahani, which is just ground sesame. Basically, it's just ground sesame, toasted sesame. And it's one tablespoon. And it's ready, just blend it. So good. Like the garlic and the ginger. It's delicious. Alright, so everything's done, so we're gonna make our plates and bowls. You know, she likes a plate, I like a bowl. Mm -hmm. 
Appetit. That's it. So try it out and go down below. Let me know how amazing it is, how much you love it. And thank my chef, Ceci, for teaching us how to do it. All right, now we're about to enjoy our salad. So that is it. See you next time.